in today's tutorial we will do image analysis and detect the images with machine learning so that's started first we will import our libraries in Jupyter notebook first we import numpy as nump and pandas spd then we will import some more libraries from pair import image os stands for pro and askiran dot model selection then we will import the keras and utils And we need a dmat plot by showing the graph and accuracy or model accuracy and also pickle file and some sequential road model we will import these libraries too Uh, we will import our data these are our data images of cats and dogs we will detect in machine learning that how we can detect these images from our model if uh, how we predict this cats and dog images from jupyter notebook and from image analysis so first of all we will give them a path here and we have two categories here if we print our x data so you can see they are showing in the decimal and if we print y so they will show 0 and 1 as we done here the categories because in y they will show 0 and 1 if we have two categories that's why they are showing 0 and 1 here if we have the more than two categories then 0 1 2 and so on Okay, now we will import these libraries in it. Keras model imports sequential and from class layer we will import conv 2 v 2 d by using by making our model. Now we take here my model sequential conv 2 d and our activation is redo where our x dot shape is this variable we take our we are just making our image and this here in the x variable that's why we are taking as dot shape here okay let's see what are these things we are taking here max pooling con v 2d what is actually these things are Actually, images in the form of 0 and 1 in the DN values, and they are making the patches here. If they take, if if this image have the DN values of in the form of 0, 1, 2, or whatever the values is, they will do in the patches. So here, in this image they will do in the patches and then in the input image they will detect the values and then 
they will do it in the feature map like 0 0 is the 0 and 0 1 is the 1 here similarly next pooling is they will after making feature map they will again doing more classification in it by using max pooling and they will further predict our model with a good accuracy that's why we are using here this convey 2 d so that our model will be trained according to a good accuracy as you can see here we have taken two classes that's so why we are taking here two and these are the default 64 filters and 0.25 in the validation process and you can change here x by taking this variable x here because we make here this variable to our images with the name of x and y so let's run this then we will compile our model by using model.compile and we are using our optimizer atom we are making again another variable with the name of history and we will fit our model and with the x and y model with the epochs of 50 what is the epochs? epochs is the validation process here if we take higher epochs like 50 or 100 so they will make our model with good accuracy so as you can see it is making our if you're showing our loss how much loss we gone on the first epoch how much accuracy on the first epoch then our loss accuracy will increases as the time they are increasing our epochs as you can see here so that's why we are using epochs here as long as the quote higher number of epochs we will take the greater the accuracy is and the minimum is the lost it will take time if you have a good machine so they will run fastly and if you have a as you can see our process has been finished here we got how much accuracy 0 0.5 radiation accuracy and the one so this is a good accuracy and minimum loss here so let's say for model in, in our, this folder we say for model here now again we are importing our libraries here tensorflow stf keras and utils here we will show our graph our accuracy and validation accuracy here and here we will showing our accuracy graph and here we are showing our validation loss graph and training loss graph we will we was done the label x label epochs accuracy in the y label and that is our accuracy here similarly here also title is the loss x label is epochs and y label is loss 
and you can see the errors also coming here training loss in loss and validation losses in validation loss level From Kera stop model, we will import our load model. Model name is we save with this name. We have the categories cats and dogs. From TensorFlow, we will import. The categorical function here and form we will make a function here. We are using 180 size image here. We are imported. Our model here from Keras. We import our road model here, and then we are imported our model as we have we had saved with this name here. So we load here our model two categories cats and dogs, and import our function categorical, and then we define our function here with the name of test on image. And in the end, we will now predict a we will take a path here. That's how we have to predict this image. It is showing the model is cat. Let me show the image of talk here. So it is showing a dog. So hopefully you will like this tutorial and you will learn something from image how we will do let's define from above let's define the topic first we import numpy our libraries here then we giving our path here we make our two categories as we have defined here there are two categories we are given here of cats and dogs we have to train this model we done some image analysis here by giving my size joining a directory and category path and then we are converting into array then we make a file into picker save our file and picker then loading and then we divided with the 245 because they will come in the 8 12 15 in these values not in decimal that's why we divide into 55 here and then we are creating our model here by using sequential count to the dropout max pooling and then by using epochs we have created our model so hopefully you will like this tutorial and we will come with the next video with the new technique in the Jupyter Notebook series. Till then, subscribe to our channel and share with others. Thank you so much.